the Prime Minister instructed to organize the Tet Tree Planting Festival. Indonesians vote in election for new president. Seeking calligraphic words, beautiful custom in Lunar New Year. Hello everyone, you're watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Dan. Let's get started. Prime Minister Fat Ming Ting has signed a directive on organizing the Eternal Tree Planting Festival in gratitude to alcohol and strengthening forest management protection and development. To organize the movement, tree planting to forever remember Uncle Ho, in a practical and effective manner, the Prime Minister requested to propagate and organize the good implementation of forestry laws to raise awareness of all classes of people about the role, value of forests, the meaning of planting trees, protect forests, protect the ecological environment. The organization and implementation of the Eternal Tree Planting Festival in gratitude to Uncle Ho must be practical and effective, continue to synchronously implement mechanisms and policies in forestry, creating conditions for agencies, organizations, unions, schools, armed forces and all classes of people to actively participate in forest planting, forest protection. Nearly 205 million Indonesian voters cast their ballots to choose a new president and vice president, making it the largest election in South Asia. 820,000 polling stations opened at 7 a.m. local time and closed at 1 o'clock p.m. the same day. The three candidates running for president include Mr. Ganjar Pranowo, former governor of Central Java, Mr. Anis Baswedan, former governor of Jakarta and Minister of Defense Prabowo Subianto, who is trying to run for president for the third time. According to regulations, to become the new president of Indonesia, a candidate needs to have more than 50% of the total votes and at least 20% of the votes in more than half of the country's provinces. Currently, voters are paying attention issues such as job opportunities, economic development direction and the future of Indonesian politics. On February 14, South Korea and Joint Chief of Staff reported that North Korea launched several cruise missiles off the eastern coast. According to Yonhap News Agency, JCS detected the missiles launched at around 9 a.m. into waters northeast of Wonsan City on the east coast. However, JCS did not specify the number of missiles. In a text message sent to reporters, the JCS stated that the South Korean military has coordinated closely with the US to monitor North Korea's next actions. This is the fifth time North Korea has launched cruise missiles since the beginning of the year. Pyongyang has conducted weapons tests including launching cruise missiles from sea and land. North Korea also fired artillery into the sea near the inter-Korean border in the west. Coming up next are some updated news. During the four days of Tet Kimlin Relic Area welcomed more than 30,000 tourists arrival who arrived to pay tribute to late President Ho Chi Minh. Relic sites such as San Village, Huang Chu Village, Huang Tiluan Tum, Jung Sun Temple all attract a large number of people. Kimlin Relic Area organized photo exhibitions, decorating flowers and miniature in folk style. The Relic Site Management Board mobilized all officials and employees to serve tourists. On the morning of February 14, at the Temple of Emperor Guangdong, Ving City People's Committee held a ceremony to celebrate the 235th anniversary of the Ngoc Khoi Dong Da victory. At the ceremony, delegates and visitors together reveal the Ngoc Khoi Dong Da victory, commemorating the glorious victories of Emperor Guangdong Wenhui, who led the Dacian's insurgent to defeat 29,000 Qing invaders establishing a great victory in the nation's history of fighting against foreign invaders. Promoting patriotic tradition, following the example of the nation's heroes, officials and people of the city vow to overcome all difficulties 
and join hand to contribute to building an increasingly rich, beautiful, and civilized homeland. Locals in Vạn Thành Commune, Vạn Ninh District, Khánh Hòa Province, discovered the whale carcass of nearly one metric tons in weight washed ashore on February 13. The leader of Vạn Thành Commune People's Committee says the remains found on Hongam Beach in Vạn Thành Commune were quickly buried following local customs. Asking for a calligraphy letters at the beginning of the year is the long-standing cultural beauty of the Vietnamese people. This year, thanks to favorable weather, many people went to sacred spot to ask for calligraphy words. Like many people, on the fifth day of Tet holiday, Ms. Khao Thi Ha's family, Hung Lok Commune, Vin City went to ask for calligraphy word at the beginning of the year. In addition to the Kim Lian relic area, many people and tourists went to temples and pagodas to ask for calligraphy. Duke Hao Pagoda and Emperor Quang Trung Temple, Vin City are one of the familiar addresses chosen by many people to attend the traditional pen brush opening ceremony and seek calligraphic words. On the fifth day of the Lunar New Year, I went to Duk Hao Pagoda. I asked for peace and luck words. I ask for smart word to become smarter. The custom of collecting calligraphic words is associated with the wish for a lucky and peaceful new year. The most popular words are blessing, virtue, success, peace. In the solemn space of the calligrapher, the custom of collecting calligraphic words made the traditional Tet holiday warmer and more meaningful when the ancient culture customs are always preserved and developed by generations. In recent years, the trend of asking for calligraphic words has become more and more popular. The most searched word is peace. In the solemn space of the calligrapher, the custom of collecting calligraphic words made the traditional Tet holiday warmer and more meaningful when the ancient culture customs are always preserved and developed by generations. This is the end of the show today. Thank you for watching.